Hi there! Thank you for joining me here at Lulu's Toy Review. Today is a beautiful bright day because we have some of the brand new LOL Surprise Light Series. I have been counting the days till these were released. I even pre-ordered some on Walmart.com, however, my order was sadly delayed. So I went to the store and I couldn't find them on the shelves there either, but as I was leaving passing the Hatchimals section, I saw these two random balls sitting there. I guess they had a carton or two and somebody probably bought the entire box, but before they could, these escaped and now they're here with us. I also found some of the pets at Target. Those will be in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. There are so many interesting dolls in this series, and I cannot wait to see which ones we got, so let's get started. So guys, here are what the brand new balls look like, and I absolutely love them. I love all the different patterns on the ball. And this doll on the front is so adorable. I love her hypnotizing glasses, her black lipstick, her gloves. She just looks so, so cool. And of course she says, unbox me. Then on the side of the ball, we have a black light bulb as the pull tab because these have black light surprises and they even give us our own black light so that we can see them. We have another little dolly here and she says, I'm sparkly. Here is our clue. So we have a figure eight plus a light bulb and it is forever bright. And it looks like our ball itself may be a pink color. And look at our ball, guys. It is black on one side and bright pink on the other. They kind of look like the Bling series balls or the Sparkle series balls where you can put your little doll inside as a display. Let's go ahead and crack it open. And inside we have this bright orange checker print tissue paper. And here are our blind bags, but I want to take a look at this, which is our new checklist. So as always, on one side, we have a beautiful poster of some of our girls. I really, really want this one. Her name is Surreal Bebe, and I think she's modeled after Frida Kahlo, which is one of my absolute all-time favorite artists. I really, really want to get her. I also love this girly over here. I think her name is Dancebot. This Gala Cutie over here is interesting because she has a dress and a suit on. All of these actually are just so cool looking. I love this series. Here is the other side of the checklist. So we have the Glam Club up here. Harlequin Girl looks so cool. We have the Opposites Club with Fire and Ice. We have the Art Club with Drip Drop, Optical, and Surreal Bebe. We have the Swim Club with Yacht BB and In Sync. And we have the Dance Club with Jammin and Dance Spot. Alright, guys, I am so excited. I cannot wait to see who we got. But take a look at these blind bags. They're so neon, and I love the checker print. Oh my gosh, guys. I think we got Surreal Bebe. Oh my gosh, guys. I think we actually got Surreal Bebe, the one that I wanted the most. Here is her flower crown and it's so beautiful. I love the neon colors, her little outfit, and just look at the colors on here. They're so bright. So she has little yellow shorts with almost a cheetah print on the side. And she has this top with fringe on it. I love that little detail. There goes a shoe. So here are her little shoes. And they look different than most of the LOL shoes that I've seen. So these look to be open-toed sandals with a glittery bow on the top and straps around the ankle. I don't think I've seen LOL shoes in this style before. And this must be her bottle. So here's her bottle. It's a bright pink bottle. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. And it has little roses on it. That is so, so cool. 
Yep, so here is our little black light flashlight. So we're probably gonna have to pull that out. Yep, and there it goes. How neat. And where is the off button? Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited to open her. Wow, look at her hair. It's so black and glittery. Oh, and you can already see her water surprise because my room is so, so cold in here. So you can already see she has her unibrow, which is how I know she's supposed to be modeled after Frida Kahlo. If you look up Frida Kahlo, and I'll put her name down here, you can see that she also had that unibrow. Hi guys! Editing Lulu, just butting in to show you guys some actual pictures of Frida Kahlo, the incomparable Mexican painter whom Surreal Bebe is modeled after. So Frida is well known for doing self-portraits in the surrealist style, hence the name Surreal Bebe. As you can see, she wore a flower crown, had a unibrow and beautiful brown eyes, and she is so striking and so unique looking. I just love her and I love Sorel Bebe. So back to your originally scheduled program. Two little tears on her face and it looks like she also has some patterning on her stomach. Oh guys, I think they may be scars. So Frida Kahlo was in a lot of accidents and I'm wondering if those are actual surgery scars? It's a little weird for a doll, but I can't see what else they could be. Look at these earrings. So beautiful. I am so excited that we got her. So let's go ahead and get her dressed. Okay guys, so here she is, and I did warm up her face a little bit so that you can see what she looks like without her cold water surprise, but she is so colorful, so fun, and so beautiful. I love her. Let's get to our second ball. So we have a wig, some makeup, and a check mark. And it says hair, makeup, check. So this time we have a clear ball. Let's crack it open. So here is our black light, and here is our bottle. So it has a black top, a light pink glittery middle, and also a neon pink bottom. So here we have a pair of neon pink glittery shoes, and I have no clue whose these could be. We have Gala QT! This is another one that I wanted because I think it's so interesting that she has half of a dress and half of a suit. So, so cool. We have a little bracelet cup and it's super pretty. It's silver and has a jewel in the center. And we also have a black pacifier. Doing the splits here. And here she is! Look how beautiful her face looks. I am loving this hairstyle. It's so, so pretty. I love how it looks short in the front, but when you turn it around, she has a little ponytail. She has gorgeous blue eyes and a light pink lip. So pretty. So let's go ahead and get her dressed, and then we can check out the blacklight surprises for both of these. So here she is guys, Gala QT. Let's go ahead and just take that out so we can look at her. So look from this side, she totally looks like a 
beautiful girly in a dress and super feminine and pretty and then you flip her around to this side and she is in a power suit she is so so cool the best of both worlds i love the detail that she has freckles only on one side of her face and on this side she has a beauty mark that's really cool so let's go ahead and get the lights off hopefully I can get it dark enough to see the blacklight surprises. I am in a room with lots of windows, so we'll see what happens, but uh, let's go ahead and try. Alright, so let's take a closer look at Surreal Bebe, and looks like she has a random dot on her forehead. Oh, actually, I think those may be, may be paint splatters. I love how her lips are just glowing. Also on her bottle, these flowers just get so, so bright with the black light. So her lips also glow. I think the glitter they use on the hair is also neon because it looks like that is picking up in the black light quite a lot as well. And it looks like her outfit starts to glow. Everything basically white on them definitely glows in the black light. So guys, there are our first two LOL Surprise Lights Glitter Dolls, and I love these. I am so, 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 so happy we got Surreal Bebe. I wanted her so much more than any other LOL doll I've ever seen, because I love Frida Kahlo, and Gala Cutie is so interesting. I love that she has a dual personality. She's one of the most unique LOL dolls I've ever seen. I love both of these and I cannot wait to see more of this series. What do you guys think of these? You can let me know at my Instagram. It's at Lulu's Toy Review. So guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe or follow if you feel inclined and have a great day. Bye.